When it comes to Cameron Diaz's love life, it's definitely been a journey to get to the happiest place she's ever been with her husband Benji Madden. They've always been a notoriously private pair, but their whirlwind romance and the pieces they do choose to share still make for one of the sweetest love stories in Hollywood. And here is what we can tell you about it. Before marriage, Cameron Diaz dated celebrities including Justin Timberlake and Alex Rodriguez. Her first famous relationship was with her There's Something About Mary co-star Matt Dillon, whom she dated from 1995 to 1998. In a 2006 interview with Parade, Dillon candidly reflected on their relationship. I fell in love with Cameron Diaz, Dylan said. It's a very powerful thing when you feel that way about somebody. Cameron was a muse for me. I hadn't been in any deep emotional relationships. However, Diaz stated that she had never thought she'd get married until she started dating Mr. Madden in May 2014. Marriage was the biggest thing I've done in my 40s, and it opened me up in different ways, Diaz told Harper's Bazaar in May 2016, 16 months after she and the rock star tied the knot. It's pretty awesome. I didn't think it was something I'd do, and I don't know if I'd have done it if I hadn't met my husband. It was a surprise. The Charlie's Angels actress revealed during her appearance on the Anna Faris is Unqualified podcast that she met her husband for the first time through his twin brother Joel Madden and his wife Nicole Ritchie. I met mine through my now sister-in-law and brother-in-law. I met them first and then they didn't set us up, but we were in the same room because of them. And then we found each other, she explained. Cameron and Benji already knew each other, but formally met at a dinner party Cameron hosted at her house. She had invited friends Nicole Ritchie and Joel Madden over, and Joel asked if he could bring Benji along. Joel said, hey, can my brother come over? Cameron later recalled, and I said, of course, it's family, we're having a barbecue. And then Benji walked in the door, and I was like, you, you. Less than 10 months after they started dating in January 2015, Cameron and Benji got married in a ceremony held at their home in Beverly Hills in front of 100 guests. Joel was Benji's best man, of course. But in April 2016 radio interview with Andy Cohen, Diaz said that when it came to her and Madden, they had an instant connection. It was one of those things where everyone tells you, you just know when you know, she said. I was like, what does that mean? Oh, I get it, you just know when you know. Like, you're my husband. She also said her relationship with Madden made her completely forget her dating past. You know, nothing matters now that I have my husband, she said. Like, I don't even remember any of that. Of that is like, that's the thing. That's how I know he's my husband. No one compares. Everything else is just like washes and slips away. You realize like, oh, this is like the real thing is. This is what real love is. This is what real commitment and devotion are. This is the person you build your life with. Diaz loves her husband, but that doesn't mean marriage is without its difficulties. I learned all these things about myself that I wish I never learned about myself and I wouldn't have known them if I didn't get married," she told Ellen DeGeneres in May 2016. So it's like this double-edged sword. But I'm just so grateful for it because I couldn't do it without my husband and I couldn't do it with anybody else except for him. That same year, Diaz wrote a lovely dedication to her husband in her book The Longevity Book, The Science of Aging, The Biology of Strength and The Privilege of Time. I never knew what love was until I found you, she wrote. How did I ever live without your love, your friendship, your brilliant mind, your genius sense of humor and your enormous, loving, beautiful heart? Thank you for being my best friend, my teacher, my partner in life," she continued. You inspire me every day with your courage and devotion. Thank you for all the support and encouragement in this book and for everything in life. I love you forever and ever.
Now this was responded to on Madden's Instagram with an even sweeter message to his wife on her 44th birthday. Happy birthday to my beautiful wife. You're my best friend and I'm so thankful for you. Sometimes I just want to tell the world, he wrote, generous, kind, compassionate, selfless, humble, thoughtful, patient and loyal. Just a few of the qualities I would use to describe who you are consistently every day. Thanks for being you. I'm a lucky guy, he added. Here's to many more. I love you at Cameron Diaz. And every year we can see and read lovely birthday wishes for Cameron on Madden's Instagram. What a lovely tradition he created, finding the best words to melt fans' hearts. Since meeting Madden and getting married, Diaz has taken a step back from her acting career and the spotlight, her last film project being 2014's Annie. In 2018, she declared that she was retired in an interview with Entertainment Weekly. She claimed that fame came to her in her 20s and now she feels like she had given most of her life to the public. I feel it's okay for me to take time for myself now to reorganize and choose how I want to come back into the world. If I decide to, I don't miss performing. In January 2018, a source told us that Benji and Diaz would love to have a baby, but they have faced problems conceiving. The insider revealed that they tried procedures such as acupuncture and IVF, but still haven't been able to get pregnant. It's been a long, hard struggle with many ups and downs, the source explained. Cameron would love more than anything to be a mom. And two years later, in January 2020, the pair announced the birth of their baby daughter, Radix Madden. We're so happy, blessed and grateful to begin this new decade by announcing the birth of our daughter, Radix Madden. She has instantly captured our hearts and completed our family, they wrote on Instagram. They also said they wouldn't be posting any pictures of their little girl or won't be sharing any more details. But they did say she is really, really cute. We're sure that she is. A month later, Madden couldn't contain his joy when it came to his new life. Instagramming, my wife and daughter fill me up with so much gratitude. Every day, I feel so lucky. Just wanted to say it out loud. Much love and best wishes. In April, Cameron opened up about motherhood and the YouTube series Makeup and Friends with Gucci Westman. She said, I love being a mother. It's the best, best, best part of my life. I'm so grateful and so happy and it's the best thing ever. And I'm so lucky to do it with Benji and we're having the best time. I'm thrilled and can't believe it. On Benji's parenting, she added, He's such an amazing father. I'm so lucky he's my baby's father. He's incredible. He puts her down and I go into the kitchen and I pour myself a nice glass of red wine. I start my cooking, I put on my show, whatever it is. Later in 2020, with the explosion of the coronavirus, Diaz told in many interviews that spending time isolated at home with her family was the biggest blessing for her. Before, my baby was an excuse to stay home. Now, I don't have to make that excuse. Cameron replied, it's just what it is. I get to be with her. She then continued, the best part of it for having to stay within our little bubble for this COVID situation is that her dad, my husband Benji, he gets to be home. So we're just having a lot of gratitude for that. In January 2022, the happy couple celebrated their seventh anniversary and their tributes to each other on social media couldn't be any cuter. Today, seven years married, always dreamt of having a family like this. The rocker wrote via Instagram in January 2022. Happy, peaceful, consistent, loyal and unconditional, equally filled with passion and depth. Calling it a honeymoon doesn't cover it. Real life. The only real challenge we have is making time go slower, cause life goes by fast in the happy lane. Always and forever knowing we're home. At Cameron Diaz, happy anniversary, I love you. The holiday actress commented on her husband's post, writing, I love you more and more every day. Happy, peaceful, consistent, loyal and unconditional. Passionate and deep equals our love. Love you forever and always. Are you crying already?
Marriage had helped Cameron find a new light in her life and made her change priorities for family being the most valuable thing among anything else. She shared, We know that no matter what, we can just go and be just a family anywhere and we're fine. We don't need any of the things that we have other than each other. We're more than happy for Cameron to find her peace with life and wish their family more joyful years to come. Don't forget to press that bell button and subscribe to our channel to always be in tune with celebrity news.